Well, hi, this is Custom Works. I'm Clint Allen, and we're here with a quick tech talk. Normally, quick tech talk is just to cover one or two items on your 7.3 power stroke, but today we're going to do a real quick just in case you got to catch a private plane to a corporate meeting in Yemen, right to the point on hot no start on your 7.3. So let's remove the tune from the truck. Eliminate the tune, get it out of there. Then see if it starts. Next, key on, ignition off. Does the check engine light come on? Does the glow plug light come on? Next, batteries. Are the batteries too weak to turn the vehicle over? Is the ends corroded on any of the batteries or at the starter? Do you have oil in the oil pan? Is the oil old? Should you be changing it? In the high pressure oil pump reserve, is there oil in there? Anything that you can't see or one inch below, you've got a problem there. Are you getting fuel? Is there fuel in the fuel bowl? Have you got a blown out fuel bowl heater? Have you gone through and checked your fuses to make sure none of the fuses are blown out? None of them are loose and not making connection. Have you put in an aftermarket sensor that has gone defunct? That will stop it from starting. Are there wires, connectors that are not making connection, wires that are broke on the end, wires that are rubbing on the valve cover, wires that are rubbed through somewhere else? As the ICP, have you gone through, disconnected the ICP and tried to start it? The cam position sensor, when's the last time you replaced a cam position sensor? Normally you want to do it around 80,000 miles or every three years. The EBP sensor, exhaust back pressure sensor, is that all completely crudded up? Is there holes in the line going to the exhaust manifold? The high pressure oil pump, have you done an oil pressure check just easily through the heads? The IPR, have you gone through? When's the last time that the I IPR was replaced? Have you gone through and tested that? The injectors, have you pulled off the valve covers, checked the injectors to make sure that it's not leaking oil from the bottom of the injector? And then last but not least, have you opened up your IDM to make sure that none of the components inside are fried? If you want more information and more in-depth, you can go up here and we've got a complete video that'll take you more in-depth, but these are the items that you need to check and more than likely one of these is stopping the vehicle from starting up. So I hope you've learned something and you take it easy and you have a good day.